Hi, my name is Kip Rogers. I'm with Case and Associates, and I'd like to give you some tips on toilets today. Um, a few tips. We'll start with what we'll call maybe number one. If your toilet does clog up, the first thing you need to see, if it's going to start overflowing on you, the easiest thing to do, there's a water valve always on every toilet right down here, and some of them are just a small turn to turn it off, and then some continue to turn five or six times until the water shuts off. Now, you'll always have the remainder of water in your tank to go into your bowl, and so you may get a little tiny bit of water on the floor, but you shouldn't get any more than that. So, tip number two is things that we keep around the toilet. I know we like to keep smelly, pretty smelly things on the back of the toilet, but what happens is sometimes these things will, with a little bit of knocking, they'll slide off and land into your toilet. And that's what we want to try to prevent to make a bigger problem. So, another thing, whenever we run out of toilet tissue, a lot of times we resort to paper towels. This is a big no-no because paper towels will clog that um, gooseneck up in there quicker than the toilet paper will. And uh, so we don't want to use that either. Uh, another tip uh, for the ladies, I'm sorry, but these are, do not go in the toilet. They go in the trash. Thank you. Um, another tip is while we're removing our makeup and our cosmetics, to not throw the, uh, the leftover towelettes and stuff in the toilet as well. And today you do have a lot of um, toilet wipes, as we'll call them, that say they're toilet safe. But if you use more than one or two, it's going to clog up the toilet almost every time. Um, above the toilet, usually there's always a cabinet above the toilet. With, um, if it's like mine, you usually have quite a few items in there that when you open it, they may just surprise you and come out. One thing we find a lot in the toilet is medicine bottles because usually they're kept on the shelf, they get knocked in, they're left on the back of the tank, and then with the, you know, rattling around, they'll end up in there. And sometimes inadvertently, it's never anybody's fault, but I'm trying to give you some tips here. Uh, another thing, with the bathtub being so close to the toilet and little children in here taking their baths, maybe mom turns their back just for a moment, and sometimes these things end up in the toilet, and nobody knows about it, and then what will happen, the toilet gets flushed, it gets caught in the gooseneck, and then we have a big problem because you have to remove the toilet, take it outside. Sometimes you have to replace the toilet, and that's a $100, $150 replacement easily. So these are just some tips maybe to try to help you out. Another small tip here is plungers. Not all plungers are created equal. So if you do purchase a plunger on your own, which is fine, any hardware store, Walmart, Kmart, anything, a lot of grocery stores have plungers. But you want a plunger that has the black lip on it. Doesn't have to be black, but a lip that comes out like this, because that's best. Because what it'll do is get down in to the area where you need to put the most force. And you can't just do a little baby rocking. Sometimes you've really got to move that thing around a little bit in order to push the extra toilet tissue or whatever might be down there. Um, and and just one other thing here is if you do lose something like this down the toilet or if you lose a pill bottle down the toilet, or a candle, or whatever the issue might be, please don't flush the toilet. You know, don't be embarrassed by calling us. We'll be happy to come over and remove this for you. But when you do flush it, that's when it gets caught in that gooseneck, and that makes a horrible problem. So just a few little tips to help you out, and uh, hope to help. Thank you.